Hey everyone and welcome back to Art a la carte. In this video I thought it would be fun to show you um, how to draw an elephant head and then some fun things I'm going to do with it later. So first the elephant head itself is this kind of fun oval shape and then adding the ears here's a couple of tricks because I had a really hard time getting the ears down and I found that they were kind of this rounded triangle shape. Instead of just drawing one ear super detailed and then going over and drawing the second ear really detailed, I found just drawing out the basic shape first can help me to get them to look similar. It's really hard to make them look exact, but I found similar is good. I can handle the similar. So here are some tips for adding on the tusks. For my picture, I found that the tusk kind of started out just a little bit above where the ears came in and they came out of like the oval shape for the elephant's head uh, kind of where the, where the tusks go into the elephant and then they kind of rounded out and I saw a lot of different ways that the tusks can grow. Some grow super long and curve inward, some grow super long and curve outward, some are really small. So really it's just personal preference to how you want your tusk to look. Just don't get frustrated. It did take me a while to get those down. Some quick tips for adding in the eyes is I just use some basic circle shapes and they're really offset to the sides of the elephant's head and their skull is really kind of bony and bulgy. So maybe looking at some photo references or even some photo references of the elephant's actual skull might help you with that. With the trunk, obviously my paper is not quite long enough to bring the trunk down. And I knew that when I chose my paper, I wanted to wrap the trunk up and have it kind of leaning over one of the tusks. I recently went to the zoo and saw a whole bunch of elephants and I saw one of the elephants kind of lazily having his trunk up and over one of his tusks and I just thought that was really really cute and I wanted to incorporate that into this piece. But if you decide you want to have your elephant's tusk down, you want to take that into consideration when you're actually sketching up your design to make sure you have enough room on the paper for all the different bits and pieces. Once you have the initial rough sketch out, I usually go over and kind of tighten up any lines or fix anything. Sometimes I'll hold the picture back away from me a little bit. It kind of gives it a different perspective. It helps me see if I have something that might not be quite right or if it's just not um, measuring up or in proportion right. Putting it on the other side of the room and looking at it can help. But that basically is your elephant head. After this point, if you want to, you of course can ink it in, which I did, or you could add in just some regular pencil shading and stuff like that. It totally depends on what you want to create with your piece. But I kind of had this really fun idea um, for my elephant, so I wanted to ink him in. So I inked him all in, and, and then this next part took a super long time, so I'm going to speed this up into hyper speed, because for the majority of the part, is you just see my knuckle. Uh, and the reason is because when you're inking something in, the position that you hold your pen in will help determine the type of line. So I will generally, when inking in, I want a really precise and even line. So I will hold my pen straight up and down, which then means my hand has to be up and over top of my paper, um, which really makes it difficult for you guys to see what's going on. I did try to reposition the camera a little bit later on so that you could see a little bit better. So what I decided I wanted to do is I wanted to create kind of a doodle um, zentangle design on the elephant and then color that in. So went crazy and made my own design. And it was really fun and it's also challenging to kind of try to think of something to do. And because it does take a long time, it's a really good practice on persevering and sticking something out and keeping up a consistency of quality even when you get kind of bored with something. So I got the design all the way till about half of the elephant and then you'll see I'm going to switch to my color pencils and what I wanted is I wanted this half really awesomely decorated elephant and then half just a normal regular elephant so I began using my color pencils which I should have mentioned at the very beginning the paper I'm using is a toned um, kind of brown cardstock and I love using that with color pencils because it makes all of the colors pop it makes the the lighter colors really pop and it even makes the darker colors um, just appear different so I like using tone paper on certain things. You'll notice that the shading of the ear I was shading with this gray pencil or what I thought was a gray color pencil but it had this really metallic shine to it and then I realized it was actually a leaded pencil so the inside of the elephant's ear has this like lead pencil shine to it which wasn't what I was going for but I actually really liked how it turned out. 
And then, of course, adding in all the fun colors at the end was super fun. I tried to push in a little bit of shadows and highlights on the elephant itself, and then ended up kind of putting a white border all the way around it, and really, really love how this elephant turned out. Now, if you like this elephant and would like a chance to win this elephant, I'm actually going to be celebrating my third year anniversary on YouTube as as a full-time YouTuber. My YouTube channel has, is older than that. But on October 15th will be my third year anniversary of deciding to do this as my job. So I thought I would do a live stream on the 15th and celebrate with you guys. And I'm going to be giving this away to someone during that stream. So if you're interested in joining along with that stream, make sure first that you are subscribed to this channel so you won't miss out when the stream happens. And then make sure to join us on the stream. I'll be giving an updated video telling you uh, what time the stream will be. And I hope that you guys get to make it. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. So until next time, God bless you guys. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Pencil and some paper and the best